How can you make a Minecraft texture pack? Well, let's go ahead and jump on into it, starting off by opening up the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you can go in and click installations, and then you want to make sure you select any of these. It really doesn't matter which one. I would recommend just going with the latest release, hover over it, and then click on the folder icon here. Then, once you're here, you want to scroll down to the versions tab. And then click on the version you want to make the texture pack for. For me, that's going to be the most recent version. But for you, it could be, you know, an older version or something like that. It doesn't really matter. The process is the same. Once you're in here, you want to find the 1.20.2.jar. But I don't have .jar here. Well, if you don't have .jar, you want to make sure you come up here at the top and check file name extensions. If yours looks like this right here, you want to click file name extensions up here at the top to get that .jar. It's extremely important that you do this. Then right click on this and click copy. Then come to your desktop, right click and paste to paste in that .jar file. Now we can close out of everything. And then on our desktop, what we want to do is right click on this and click rename and then rename this to a .zip file. So change .jar at the end to .zip. You're going to get a warning. Go ahead and click yes that you want to change that. And now we have this folder, this zip icon. Open this up, and then what we want to do is, once we see everything that's in here, we want to find this Assets folder. Take this Assets folder and drag and drop it into your desktop. So we just double-clicked on this .zip to open this up, took a second, and then dragged and dropped this Assets folder to our desktop. It's going to take a minute because it's basically moving everything, all the textures, but also a lot more. You'll see what I mean by that. You can change a lot with a resource pack to the desktop. So just sit back and let this happen. You can go ahead and create a new folder on your desktop because you will need that. And we'll say my texture pack. You can name this whatever you want. But uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. But once this is finished, we will move the assets folder in here and then create and start working on our texture pack. So there we go. The assets folder has now been created or moved to our desktop. We want to move this into that folder, that my texture pack folder we created. When we open this up, we will just have the assets folder in here. And then in this, we have Minecraft. And then we have all of this different stuff here, right? So this is kind of how it works. When you open it up, you'll see the assets folder. And then you'll see Minecraft. And you can delete MC asset root there. You can delete that file. And then in here, we have all of our different stuff, right? There's tons of different stuff in here. And you don't have to have all of these. For example, if we didn't want to change the, you know, the block states, we could delete that. And it would only change the stuff that's in here. You can leave it all, but it's just going to kind of clutter your default Minecraft. It's going to pull the stuff from default Minecraft when doing this. Um, in the description down below, there is a link which will take you here. And this is the basically tutorial for creating a resource pack that goes in depth on what these specific files do. My goal with this video is to kind of get it set up. If you want to take it a step further, that's where the Minecraft wiki can come in and help a ton in doing that. Nevertheless, we've also got some stuff in the description that you'll need, such as GIMP. When it creating these files, you'll need some sort of image editor. And GIMP is a 100% free image editor to use. It has a lot of the same features that Photoshop has. And like I said, 100% free and open source for you to use. And that is linked down below. There's also Visual Studio Code, also 100% free, and we will need to create a pack.mc meta file here in a second, and I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code for that. I'd recommend you do that as well to get the best experience, and uh, yeah, that is also here in the description. When you click that link, it's actually going to take you here, but you can scroll up and see a lot more about creating a resource pack and scroll down about creating a lot more of a resource pack on the Minecraft wiki. Nevertheless, we're not quite there yet. Let's go ahead and change some different stuff here. One of the things that I like to change is the splash screens. And we can just open this up with Notepad here, and this is all the splash screens that is available on Minecraft. Let's go ahead and change this to check out simple game hosting. And that actually, uh, that actually moves us on to the ad spot in this, our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, and play them all with your friends. And you can customize and change your server however you want, even adding a resource pack to where when someone joins your server, they're propped in to download your resource pack. Should you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support and a high-quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. So as you can see, check out Simple Game Hosting is now our splash screen there. You can add one of these per line if you want. But we'll just go ahead and leave it as one and then close out of that. You can change the end.txt here and all of that stuff that, you know, shows whenever the end is achieved. So much stuff can be changed here, but you want to know about textures and textures are here. 
You can see the different block textures. You can see the different map textures. I mean, there's so much that can be changed. It's it's kind of crazy all that can be changed in Minecraft. Sometimes it can get a bit confusing because you'll have different you know stuff in different places, right? So you'll open up the armor model here, for example, and it won't exactly be the correct one because you have different layers that you need to edit if you edit the wrong layer, things like that. It can be a little crazy, including you know the different paintings that can appear in Minecraft are all here as well, and you can change those. So much stuff to change. I would just recommend and clicking around you have a bunch of different block textures here so for example we can scroll down and we can see you know the different grass textures that are here if i find it um they're they're in here it's grass block there it is um grass block top grass block you know bottom side grass snow block grass block side all of that stuff can be edited and changed here. And uh, there are specific things that have to be changed occasionally to get the you know correct grass block edited. Same thing with dirt and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick a few random blocks here and we're going to go ahead and edit those. So we have a few different blocks here and this is truly what's crazy about these. You have to zoom in so far. We are zoomed in right now. 6,400% to bring this up at this size. We have the gold block here. We've got the emerald block here. We've also got uh, dirt, diamond block, gravel, cobblestone. I'm quickly going to edit all of these and I'm not going to make you sit through that, but once I'm done, what I'm going to do is save these to the pack replacing the ones that are already there. Alright, it's a bit weird. They've all been saved. This is the new gold block, new emerald block, dirt is now gray, diamond block is now, well, diamond colored and then we also have gravel is white and so is cobblestone so that's enough changes that it should be kind of crazy once we get in game and we can see here this is the gravel texture that uh is opening up it's a bit blurry there but that's the gravel texture that is opening up now what do we do with this well we want to go ahead and first before we install this and you can change any of this all you want but we're moving on now to getting this working in game but you can change as many of these as you want go crazy with all the assets that are in here we want to go back to the main folder here. So as soon as we open up this My Texture Pack folder, we see assets. What we then want to do is go to the description of this video and go to this link here. And you will see that at this link, we have the pack.mc meta and we have this piece of code right here. We want to go ahead and copy this, right? So right click and copy after selecting it. And then we want to minimize this and create a new folder or a new, uh, excuse me, document here. So right click and go a new text document. I'm going to open this with VS Code. So I'm going to open this with Visual Studio Code. And as you noticed, we mentioned that earlier. So here's our new text document and Visual Studio Code. We want to paste that pack.mc meta. And then we want to change the pack format to whatever we wanted earlier from this website. So for us, we want the uh, 1.20.2 version. So that's going to be 18. But if you want 1.20 dot three it might be a different one older versions are older version numbers and you can change that pack format right here right that's the version number that we're talking about and it's not correlated with the exact minecraft version it can get a little confusing there we're going to go ahead and change this to the breakdown resource pack just because that way you know it's changed once we're in game if i can spell correctly today and then we want to just go ahead and file save as then we're going to save this as the pack dot mc meta file and we don't want to say this is plain text we want to go ahead and scroll up to all files and save it as all files so pack.mc meta is the file name and all files and then click save now when we open up this folder we can see we have the pack.mc meta file we can delete the text document so this is what we want now the only thing that we need to do to get this working at this point is select these right like so right click on them and send to a compressed zipped folder. When we do that, it's gonna create a brand new zip file and then we can name this whatever we want. We will go ahead and actually name it my texture pack, right like so. And when we open this up, we will see that the assets are in here and then we can even go down into, for example, the uh, you know splash screen that I had and see that check out Simple Game Hosting is the splash screen. Let's go ahead and install this into Minecraft. So we have our my texture pack dot zip here. We're going to move this and install it into Minecraft. I'll see you in game. So here we are in Minecraft and this is installed like any other resource pack. Go to options and then you want to go to resource packs and then you can open pack folder and move your resource pack into the pack folder. 
Now, when we come back into Minecraft, we will see the breakdown resource pack here that shows that pack MC meta folder or file that we created is in fact working. We can click the play button to move it over into selected and click done. Now the pack will activate. We go back to the main menu. We can see how checkles check out simple game hosting is here. The background is all messed up because, well, we didn't edit the background and something may have kind of broken there, which is kind of funny. Not a big deal worth troubleshooting and figuring out, but uh, actually kind of cool, again, showing it's working. Let's go ahead and jump into a simple game hosting server where we will be able to, in fact, see that, sure enough, this is going to be working. The dirt texture should be changed. We'll spawn in a few diamond blocks, things like that. Um, one thing that is worth noting is that the dirt texture is not going to be changed if there's no dirt. As you can see, we're seeing all grass here, but we do see, look at this, this is the dirt texture, which is absolutely crazy. This is dirt. Dirt is just a gray block because that's what we changed it to. That's actually really, really funny there. Let's go ahead and grab a diamond as well. We can see that is changed. We've got emeralds here. Those are changed. We've got the cobblestone texture is now white. Wow, look, it looks a lot like, uh, you know, the infested cobblestone there. Actually, it looks like it changed all of these textures when I changed cobblestone. I was not expecting that. It's really cool. And then we also have the, um, there was one more that was changed. Dirt we already have. One second. It was gravel. We turned gravel white, and I forgot about that. And you can see suspicious gravel not affected there. So uh, this is our new gravel texture, and it, and it works like gravel, as you can see, which is really, really cool. Uh, that changed that block to dirt. Look at that. It's so funny. We do have our dirt texture there. We've got our cobblestone texture. We've got our emerald block, our diamond block, and then, of course, our gravel block there. Look at that. So funny. They look horrible, but that's how you can make your own texture pack and edit those files and folders there. So yeah, that's the in-depth guide, or not in-depth guide, the basic guide on making a texture pack. If you do want a more in-depth guide, the resources over at the Minecraft Wiki are super, super helpful. When you click the link in the description, it will take you here to specifically the pack formatting section, but you can scroll around on this page and see so much more as far as adding content. And I'm sure there's even stuff on here for fixing, for example, that main menu issue that I broke. Um, I'm sure that's in here. So nevertheless, that is all covered and uh, super in-depth on helping you change specific things if there's something specific you want to change about a resource pack. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I won't be releasing this pack because, well, it's not that good, and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.